My name is Larry Wheel. I'm the president of Gordon College. In 1852, the city of Barnesville and Gordon College both received their charters. It's a long history of collaboration, of working together. This is yet one more page out of that history. It is my honor to introduce the person who made this possible. Anthony McCullough came to Gordon in 2004 and it did not take him long to make himself an important part of the college community. He ran for senator of the Gordon Student Government Association and was elected. Then in the following semester he became the SGA's secretary treasurer. He also spearheaded the first SGA presidential ball. And according to our director of student activities, the ball's success was because of him. He used his time here well, transferring to Kennesaw State University, where he earned his bachelor's degree. If these were his only contributions to the college, they would be noteworthy. But he made more that never drew attention except for a few. One of these contributions is the reason we are here today. Most, if not all, of us here knew President Roosevelt spoke here in 1938, but we did not seek to apply the Georgia Historical Society for a marker. It was Anthony who thought this historical marker should be here, and I think it is safe to say we would not be here today if he had not. He wanted to serve his community, and he certainly has. I'm very proud to introduce a Gordon alumnus, Mr. Anthony McCollum. Mr. Ranks, President Wells, Minister Henry, Mr. Woods, Mr. White, Mr. Hanley, and honored guests, thank you for all your help with this historic marker. Just imagine 50,000 people crowded in the small town of Barnes on a sunny day in August of 1938. And here we are at this focal point where President Franklin Dale Roosevelt turned on the lights for hundreds of hardworking farmers. Today, we may not have the thousands, but with the help of the Georgia Historic Society, we can at least erect a marker which will make it possible for thousands of people far in the future to know what happened here. Since I was little, I always liked history. I remember as a young child that any time I would see a historic marker like the one behind me, I would ask my parents to stop the car, car before we can read it. Three years ago, across from where we stand today, I was in my dorm room when I came upon a picture of FDR. I won't lie to you, I thought the picture in the caption was a lie. Why would a president want to come to Barnesville? There's nothing here about to myself. <laughs> After doing research, I found that that he, it was true that he did come here to Barnesville, Barnesville, and what he did here. I felt that a historic marker was needed to be put to put up to show to show our local history. When FDR came here in August of 1938, he helped to turn on the lights for hundreds of hardworking farmers. I hope this marker will turn the minds of many to know our local history here in Barnesville. I was a little fearful that this day wouldn't happen, but I remember that fear is the false evidence appearing real, that all things are possible. I know that it would happen, maybe not right now, but it would happen one day. This historic marker has been a challenge, has been a challenge that we all have shared, that so many have put together and worked hard for. But I would like to especially thank uh, Dr. Peter Boltz and Vice President Ron Toon for their hard work and helping to get this um, accomplished today. Let us remember, let this historic marker have a meaning that through determination, hard work, that all things are possible. And, like I said, all things are possible. So I thank all of you for being here, and I thank you all for coming out and letting us learn more about our history. Thank you so much.